Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Welcome, friends, to Kardec Radio. My name is Greg, and the name of my show is Spiritism, Healing, and Meditation. Thank you for joining. Kardec Radio is nourishing our souls 24 hours a day with over 4,000 podcasts. You can find those on Facebook, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, or kardecradio.com. You can go there and download the programs and take them on the go. Kardec Radio is a volunteer-run radio station, and your donations are welcome. So as always, we like to start with a prayer. And so we, we invite you to close your eyes and listen to the prayer. My Lord, my God, my love. Here we are, Lord, once again, gathered in your name with gratitude and praise of your holy name. Our hearts are full in this sacred time of communion with your grace and wonder. We humbly ask that this sacred time, this brief moment, be blessed by you, by Lord Jesus, our Mother Mary, and all of your high order spirits to bring us comfort, love, wisdom, understanding, and great joy of celebrating in this time of prayer and learning. O wondrous spirit, O magnanimous God, take us to a place of joy and peace during these moments that we are gathered in your holy name. We ask that we remember that we are your children and we are greatly loved, so loved. Thank you for blessing us with this wisdom that is before us. And may we derive great inspiration from these words we are about to read. O oh, great Lord of the universe, with a thousand thousand names, praised by all in a thousand thousand different tongues. All merciful, all knowing, all forgiving, unbounded, omnipotent, we thank you for being with us always. As we remind ourselves that you are all these things, that we always have your protection, mercy, and grace. In your holy name, we ask this, that this meeting and reading be blessed. So be it. Amen. Amen. 
This is show number 45 from the Spiritist magazine number 54. It's called Mediums and Mediumship, and it's by the spirit Kaibar Shutel, and the medium is Chico Xavier. Under the false assumption that there are mediums and mediumship more important among themselves, let us recall the old apologue that Agrippa Menasius told the mutineers of Rome in, er in order to calm their discordant spirit. If the brain, by retaining the brilliant edition, despise the stomach occupied in the obscure task of digestion, the head would not be able to think. If the eyes, by reflecting the light, declared war on the intestines, because they are waste sorting vessels, surely the retina would soon be a dead mirror in darkness. And if the trunk, because it feels craned at a small height, condemn the feet, would they live in contact with the ground? The body would roll without balance. And for our part, we would dare to add to the old fable that everything in the field of the sequence of nature is solidarity and cooperation. If the arms disappeared, the feet become more agile. If deafness occurs, the eyes acute, more intense penetration. If the vision appears dim, touch is more widely developed. If the spleen is excised, the bone marrow works harder to meet blood vessels, blood needs. As it happens in the physical world, the spiritist doctrine is a great body of revelations and blessings in which each medium has a specific task. This one clarifies, that one consoles, another heals wounds, that one annuls disturbances, this one incorporates anguish sufferers, That one transmits explanations from instructors devoted to great beneficence. Another receives the constructive word. That other is the charge of the sanctifying message. It is easy to observe the healing pass is the brother of the comforting prayer, while this obsession is the reverse of spiritual enlightenment and the glowing verb of the public square is another side of the book that silence blesses. In our sphere of service, therefore, since we have no religious professionalism, there are no medium pastors, medium managers, medium leaders, or medium directors, since each of us has a part of the great apostolate of redemption that has been assigned to us by the greater spirituality. Moreover, if all of us together have a mentor to look for and to listen to in a very special way in terms of conscious and sanctuary of the heart, that mentor is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of eternal love, whose light on the great day of our highest adjustments, we must reveal in ourselves the divine essence of his divine lessons to each one according to his works. Beautiful. To each one according to his works sums up this message from the Spirit of Truth, the book, or O Spirito da Verdaggi. Um, many stories um, from various spirits, and Chico Xavier and Waldo Vieira are the mediums. In this case, this particular one is Chico Xavier's mediumship. We 
appreciate that we are all mediums to lesser and greater degrees. And we all have that connection to the greater good, to the beneficence of moving life forward the way our Creator, our Heavenly Mother, Father God, has given to us a part of His Spirit, of Her Spirit, the eternal goodness, the eternal love, the eternal kindness. And we are reflectors of that. Deep in our heart is that eternal love. We are always connected. We are never alone. And mediumship is a gift from God in various amounts. And we thank you dear Heavenly Mother, Father, God, for helping us stay connected, even though in this life we seem to be disconnected, we seem to be alone. But the reality is, in the Vedic tradition, it's called Maya, that which is not. It's an illusion. And one gains eternal enlightenment. It is as if According to Shankara of India, one of the great one of the originators of the Shankaracharya, said it's like waking up from a dream. We wake up and we realize that there is nothing but God, and there is nothing but love. And the reality is different from the illusion or the dream state that we just came from, which is no different than when we wake up from a dream. And we are in a different state of consciousness. So we thank you, dear Lord, for this beautiful reminder that we are all mediums. And to each one according to his works. Thank you for joining me. Please stay for the healing and meditation section of this program. Thank you. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Purifying the heart and mind before a healing prayer, as described by the Spirit Father Ustakio, who was a healing medium when alive on earth. This through the hands of psychography of Chico Xavier. Repeat after me silently or out loud. Visualize the person or people who have hurt you, look into their eyes and say to them, I forgive you, thank you, I love you, see yourself hugging them. Visualize the people you have hurt. Look into their eyes and say, I am sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Visualize yourself hugging them. Now visualize yourself 
as a small child. Look directly into your eyes and say, I forgive you. I love you. Thank you, dear soul. God loves you greatly. More than you are capable of knowing. The Healing Prayer Repeat after me, silently or out loud. Dear God, please use me as an instrument of healing to cure this infirmity. I have faith in you and know that all things are possible with you. Please free me from all thought of pride and selfishness, which may alter their purity. I humbly beseech you to permit your good spirits to concentrate their beneficial fluids in me so that I may bring about health. Let us visualize a shower of God's healing light being poured over the diseased or damaged area. Sustain this image of light, healing, soothing the damaged or diseased part. This light of God coming through Jesus and the good spirits restores balance and reinvigorates health. See this light not only healing the physical vessel, but the paraspiritual body. See the cells coming alive with new joyous energy, happy to be part of God's plan and carry out this holy work. See this loving light of God pour over our entire spark of God we call the soul. See each cell be enlivened in vigor and health. May this heavenly divine light elevate us to learn from this mistake that caused the disease. May it infuse wisdom and discernment so that future thoughts and actions do not cause harm to myself or any other dear soul. See us healthy, happy, vibrant, glowing in divine light, a heart full of love and acceptance of all. Thank you, Holy God. Thank you, Blessed Jesus. And thank you, Good Spirits, that are sent by God for this healing. Thank you for this healing. Thank you. Thank you.
Jesus Fruxus 